Okay, I'm not going to bore you with an overview of how the UI works on this thing, so I'm just going to get right to the point. And that's going to be XBMC and a couple of other applications. Now, um, using the, the dev instructions, I actually was able to install uh, Dropbox, um, ES File Explorer. But as some of you guys will actually find out, if you launch um, Dropbox, as soon as you try to install something, um, it'll say that uh, the source is unknown and it's not going to let you, normally in Android it'll let you select a, a checkbox to allow uh, third party applications. This one doesn't actually allow you to do that, so you actually have to sideload all the APKs one by one. You can't use Dropbox or you can't use Easy File to just access them on like a th um, over the network or anything like that. Now what I have here is actually, um, this is by far the best XBMC version I can find. And oddly enough, it's the one that I pulled from the um, the Ouya, which is this one right here. So you have the Mad Cats Mojo, Ouya, and now uh, today I actually just received the, the Amazon Fire TV. So let's go on here in XBMC. We'll launch it. And uh, there's some movies right there. So it's not as fast as the Mojo, but it, it is way, it's quicker than the, than the Ouya. So I'll start... Actually, you know what? Let's do. Uh... And right now, there's it's currently um, updating my. It's getting my stuff off the off my NAS. So I have, I have a Synology eighteen twelve plus with a eight three terabyte hard drive. So let's play one of these movies real quick. Aristocats. And you can tell there. This is uh You'll see right there. It says seven twenty DTS. Now, unfortunately, actually, I do not have a working home theater AV receiver right now, so um, I can't test out the DTS. But on this version of Ouya, of XBMC, if you go under System, System again, Audio, see all these right here? It actually gives you the ability to select DTS, um, True HD, DTS HD, and again, this is the version I pulled from the Ouya. So I don't know if this works because I don't currently have a receiver that supports any of that. So um, I'll leave you guys the link um, on the notes so you guys can test it out yourselves. Uh, these are a couple of uh, AVIs. Uh, let's go back on here under movies. And if I go under, I believe it was Little Rascals, the, the version that I have on here is uh, 1080i. And that one also works, so let's go to Little Rascals. Um, so here's a standard definition version and this one right here is a 1080i version it actually plays really well I'll skip a little bit to the forward there it is well this one actually doesn't say i on there but I know it's an i version so I'll hit stop there because that played fine so if you've seen a 720p file, you've seen a 1080i file. Now 1080p file. We'll just select one of these, and I believe one of these are 1080p. Yeah, this one's 1080p. And just like the other ones, um, I'll skip a little forward. Sometimes it takes a while, but it's only because it's a 1080p file. So let's hit here. We'll stop this. And uh, yeah, so that's my quick little review on uh, XBMC Ouya. Oh, oh yeah, and in case you were wondering, let's go to add-ons. And because this is the Frodo version, one channel, mashup, XBMC torrent, they all work, okay? Uh, so far, I've actually um, enjoyed this box, and I'm probably going to be replacing all my Ouya boxes with, uh, with Amazon Fire TV boxes. Um, I have two mojos that actually run better than this, than the Amazon. But then again, it's $200 compared to Amazon's competitive $100 price. And uh, it also includes this little remote. Granted, um, it doesn't include a gaming controller like the Mojo does, but if all you want to do is XBMC, this is the best route to do it. Oh, one more thing before I let you guys go is I have a Melee Pro um, F10, and this works perfectly on it as well. So in the back of the little device, I have the, the little dongle right here in the corner. So... Full functional keyboard. This works fine. And what's really cool about this remote is it has like a air um, mouse. So if you hit this little button here, it emulates a mouse.
key. You see that? It's kind of like a Wii. So I'll take that off again. See, it allows you to use the keyboard if you want to use that. We'll go under System, File Manage. Let's say we wanted to do an Add Source here. Type away. Also, this version of uh, uh, most XBMCs actually don't allow you to select any of this text. You actually need a mouse um, for it, but um, since this is the EVO version, it actually allows you to select all that. I'll exit. Actually, and before I go, let me um, let me open up the XBMC version uh, 13 Gotham, and you'll see the difference. So this is uh, the Gotham version. So I'll play, uh, actually let's go in here and I'll play something. You can already see that's a little, it's stuttering more than normal, so actually we'll play 8 Mile. And it plays it just fine, um, but as the movie progresses it, it starts getting out of sync. So I skipped 10 minutes right now, so we'll see. It's just not as smooth as the other version of the, as the the XBMC for on Ouya version. So I'll leave it at that. Um, thanks for viewing my video, and I'll leave the links below. Thank you.